drawn to you, um, Leo. So you have the Ace of Wands, the Hanged Man, and then you have the Six of Pentacles. Immediately, you Leos are doing a very good job maintaining a sense of decency when it comes to uh, maintaining a sense of decency when it comes to um, the job, like I said, whatever problems you got going on in your life, there's a sense of decency where you are disciplining yourself uh, because you understand that it's about control for some people. These are these are trying times for you, Leos, where there's some things obviously that are gonna sorry about that, that are gonna have to be essentially worked out. And as a result of that, you're gonna stay disciplined and not make any wild big decisions right now. The ace excuse me, the hangman represents and you should. You should be battening down the hatches, being very stable, you know, almost like an earth sign right now, because the six of pentacles represents there's some politics going on. To piggyback off of what I said before, in the, la in the last couple of re uh, Leo readings, you know how people are trying to oust you out, while at the same time, it's about controlling you, and that it's not about ousting you, it's about being able to tell you what to do and you mindlessly follow along with it and, and politics of power, right? And because of the fact that you Leos are now walking lock and step, this is the problem that they have with you. Um, but the thing is that for you Leos, I'm seeing that you Leos are just enduring right now. The Four of Swords and the Ace of Cups, you understand that this isn't gonna last forever. And it's getting to a point pretty soon where you will leave. You are already planning, like I said, your escape, your great escape. You're already planning that. You Leos are already planning on leaving. You're saving up money even now to where even if you don't necessarily find another gig, job, place to stay, right? As far as, um, as far as like a, like a, the specific apartment that you may want, you know, an apartment that's doable, that's good enough. And the money that you saved up, obviously, is to afford living expenses. And so the thing is, is that now you have the Nine of Swords. Because it's not necessarily weighing too heavy on you, where it's breaking you down. But for you, Leos, it's more so a sense of like, you very much so are um, making sure you, you just, you Leos just understand, right, that uh, this isn't a very good environment for you, for you, for you to express your creativity and to really show your geniusness. Um, you know, Leo is a zodiac sign that wants to be, you know, given attention for the good work that they do. All right. Okay. So, all right. That's fair, right? You know, I, you know, you know, I adapt with the zodiac side. So, okay. And this isn't a place that's for that. This is this is a place that you will get you know, your name dragged through the mud. You understand that because that's exactly what's happening to you. The high priestess and the knight of swords is about how um again, at any minute those people on the job gig it could even be a romantic situation where the two of you live together. They're dragging, they just keep making it worse on you by telling you wild stuff, trying to lower your, your self-image, right? Trying to lower it, lower it, lower it. Trying to lower your self-image because again, they're looking at you like at any minute now, you Leos are gonna crack up underneath the pressure. And what it's also saying is that for you, you Leo's on the right track with wanting to leave and planning an escape, having a plan. Don't just quit 
and be like, oh, okay, it is what it is. And let them say whatever it is that they got to say to you. And you just stay there, right? In that dysfunctional environment. So the thing is that the seven of pentacles and the lovers right here speaks to how um, some of you Leos may even be, now, now this, this is where things can get messy. Some of you Leos may be getting to know someone else who on some romantic stuff, getting to know someone else, even though you're already romantically involved with somebody else. Now that's cheating, <laughs> okay? That's cheating. Now I don't suggest that you do that, but y'all are adults. Y'all can always stick the middle finger up at me and say, forget about me. So, okay, I get it. Y'all are gonna do whatever it is that y'all are gonna do. But the thing is, is that for ones who are in the um, career space of what I'm talking about, you're already looking for, like I said, a brand new job. You probably already have one. You probably already got the got the position at some in another working environment and you put in your resume for the last two weeks or the last month or what have you, or you already have a particular job in mind that you're gonna go to a job interview for, for right? One that would be a better work environment. So let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. To clarify the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Wands, and then you have the Page of Wands. We're clarifying the Seven of Pentacles once again. So the point that I'm trying to make here, right, is the Knight of Cups and the Ace of uh, Pentacles is that this is what this is what is so dysfunctional about some working environments, because They'll fire you if you just want to come to the job, work. You don't really get into too much conversation with other people. They'll say that you don't have socialization skills. You don't know how to socialize. But then at the same time, though, right, if you if you are not a good worker, if you don't know how to how to get bring money cash flow in, they'll fire you for that, too. That's that. So so the work space encourages power dynamics and people playing right instead of real <laughs> team building right which but see that's that's the thing that's too much because it would demonstrate too much leadership and hierarchy but anyway <laughs> so the thing is that the knight of cups now and the ace of uh of uh, pentacles, excuse me, represents, uh, to clarify the seven of pentacles represents, but see, you know, but that's one of the things that you are looking for. Part of the reason why is that you're looking for another job is because fresh new environment, right? Fresh new environment. And one of the things that you will ask immediately, right? As you are getting interviewed, right? is what is the working environment looking like, right? The Eight of Wands and the Ten of Wands and the Page of Wands is about how, um, uh, because you need to know. A lot of you Leos right now are very touchy about that, where you need to know. You need to know that the new environment isn't gonna be like the old one. And the thing is that the Ten of Wands and the Ace, excuse me, Ten of Wands and the Page of Wands is, because the environment that you're in now is dysfunctional. It's supposed to be about a good, you know, team, people getting together, making the business money, making themselves money because they work for the business as well as a teamwork, right? Um, and the thing is that that's not what you get. The Ace of, oh, excuse me, the Page of Wands, uh, you Leos continue to you Leos end up having to be the ones that look out for yourself because they so caught up with the with the greed, right? So um, you Leos already have, a lot of you Leos probably already have 
an interview lined up that you're going to be going to, you know, going to obviously to find out if you can get this job. Some of you already have a job and you've put your you put um, your resignation in, you know, your two weeks notice, month notice. Let's clarify the lovers. King of Cups, Six of Cups, the Empress, the World, Five of Wands. King of Cups, Six of Cups. Some people will find out about your resignation and they'll want you back. Same thing when it comes to romantic situations where you're leaving, they'll want you back. They may know that you're leaving. They'll want you back. You know, they'll talk trash and then and then they won't think of you as being serious. And then when more things move out, that's yours slowly but surely over time. They're going to want you back. They're going to say some things and whatnot. That's going to sound romantic. King of Cups, Empress, you have to not fall for that because they're basically saying whatever it is that they think that you want to hear. The world and the five of wands, you Leos owe it to yourselves to make sure that you don't fall for the games that other people are playing, trying to reel you back in so that they could pull the same nonsense with you, whether it's romantically or not. So that's it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. There is progress going on where y'all are starting to actually move out of this space. Things are looking up where, you know, the the, the hustle, y'all well, y'all was stepping with some speed. Y'all, y'all, Leo's made some stuff happen quickly. Um, where this problem was resolved, y'all immediately went out, started looking for a job interview, right? Or, or I should say a job and been on a couple of interviews. And some of you already got the, uh, the position. So that's it for now. Um, like I said, that's it. I'm trying to get the YouTube channel to 100K subs, smash the subscribe button, like button, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos. Come through and get the merch, books that I have on Amazon, the readings, all of that is in the link in the comment section below, right? It's called the Linktree link. And also to sign up for my uh, email uh, list as well. I'm going to be creating one of those very soon, but just in case if this YouTube thing goes down, I'm not just out of luck. I I'm actually able to stay connected with y'all. Peace.